Hello folks, uh, I normally don't do things like this, I, I actually I don't ever do, because this is just not me. Uh, a lot of people that know me knows this for a fact, I just don't. But for the past month or so, uh, I've been having this urge in my heart that to do these videos and I, I, I don't know why. I, I probably I'm not even gonna post these videos at all. Maybe I just gonna just record them, put them somewhere stashed in one of my folders in the computer, and just let them be. Uh, maybe I will post them in YouTube anonymously. If somebody wants to, you know, watch them, great. If it doesn't, great. You know, but like I said, for the past month or so, uh, I've been feeling this this thing. You know, like, God has been, like, putting little things in my heart that, you know what, you should say, you know, do this video and say it. And I I never have done it because, uh, you know, when you sometimes it's like, oh, well, I, I, I got to do this, I got to do that, I got to I gotta have a quiet area, I got to have a room, or, you know, or oh, the time is not right, and... I don't know, you just, today it's just like, you know what, enough, you know, if it comes out great, great, if it doesn't come out at all, great, I mean, you know what, I think it's time for just stopping all the excuses and just do it and just get it done. Uh, reason that I'm doing this is because um, I was going through my Facebook page and uh, a friend of mine, uh, his, his wife posted a video that you know when sometimes when you watch something and you just like wow you know I, I ooh, you know it, it sometimes hits home uh, it hits home to me because one is is it's military and everybody that knows me you know I'm a veteran I served my country in the United States Marine Corps honorably and if you want to call it that I'm a sucker for it, yeah, I'm a, I'm a sucker for it. But anyways, uh, the video is about, you know, it's, they did it like a quick PowerPoint, you know, they turned the PowerPoint into a video. And it's about this soldier that requests permission to his platoon sergeant. They are at war and his friend got left behind in the front line either got uh, wounded or, or got killed you don't really go into details it's something really quick and the platoon sergeant says no you know I, I don't want you to go you know you know your friend is dead forget about it you know just you know stay here you know get to live another day and of course you know the, the soldier is arguing back through the platoon sergeant saying no I can't you know it's my friend you know, we've been taught that we know, don't leave friends behind, blah, 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 blah. And he just takes off, goes, you know, without the permission of the platoon sergeant. He, he's able to pick up his friend and coming back, he also gets hit. And, you know, his wounds are, are terrible. He's, you know, he's, he's probably dying. And when he comes back, you know, the platoon sergeant just grabs him and he's like, why? Why you did it? You know, well, I told you not to go. Now I don't have one dead soldier. I got two dead soldiers. And the soldier turns around, you know, just while he's dying, and he says it's because he's my friend. You know, we don't, we don't, we don't leave our friends behind. We, we don't. And the reason that kind of stroke a chord on me is just that, you know, besides my, my. Thank God, non war scenario life that I had in the military. You know, I I thank God that God listened to my mother's prayers, and uh, I, I was lucky enough that I I served my country, but in time of peace and not in time of war. Uh, but one thing kept ringing inside my head when I saw the video and is that us, us as Christians we have a calling 
to do the same. Not for the non-believers, but also for our fellow Christian brothers and sisters. When, when it says that you know his friend is dead, and we're gonna leave him behind. You know, when we talk about death, and we all know about this, we're not talking about death as in, as in, you know, physical death. We're talking about spiritual death. As where when our when the Holy Spirit is, is not there anymore with us, that you know we we turn away from God. We're, we're dead. You know, we become again dry bones. And it's our calling to go back out there into the field, into the mix of the war, and pull them back out to save them. Now, I don't know why I'm doing this video. I don't know who is it for. Uh, again, God will know how to write who needs to hear this video, you know, to see this video and hear this voice. It will guide that person to the video. Why? I don't know. But I, like I said, for the past month, God has been telling me to do these videos. And again, we, we I, I always put an excuse that, well, I should have, you know, the time. It has to be in a quiet room, you know, good lighting, good sound. Enough. So this is going to, I think it's going to be one of my first of many videos. You know, all I got to say, whoever is watching this, is that if God puts that in your heart, if God puts that, it's like, you know what, I haven't seen my, you know, John at church for, for a month or so. It is your calling to go out and find John and ask, hey, John, how you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, what's going on? Are you okay? You know, do you need to talk? Can we talk? You know, bring him back. Bring the sheep back to the flock trying to revive that spirit again don't ever forget that because we have this whole saying that today could be him tomorrow could be you so take that as you like god bless love you guys and keep that in mind later